Hey everybody, today I'm showing you the Power Up Dragon Kit. Now, I've covered the original Power Up 4, which is an app connected paper airplane. It has this basic template that you can make. It has this motor here. It, this part is rechargeable. Now, I've been flying this for a while. You can see it's actually beat up. But then again, it's just a piece of paper, so it's not really that surprising. It still flies well, even with that. You can also control it with your smartphone. Now, this is a new kit that lets you build a paper dragon that you can fly with your smartphone. It comes with this accessory kit that has the landing gear. So there's a difference. This doesn't have a landing gear. You also get the power of four. See, it's very similar, just that you have a different set of things to attach to make this fly. Let's see what's inside. You get the paper kit to actually create your own flying dragon. Now, these guys always actually include the instructions online. You can watch videos to learn how to put this together. But then again, these parts are easy to attach anyway. They're it's pretty straightforward. Here's another one. So I got two of them just in case I mess up one of them it happens. Now, these guys were kind enough to send me this to review. I had already reviewed the original one and they thought that this is a nice upgrade over that. So. We'll see about that. Let's see what's in this. This is everything that's included. Get all the necessary parts to attach the landing gear. And finally you have your main unit is very similar to the one that I showed here so this is the one that I have already flown in the past it's just a similar design it's exactly the same thing actually it's just you have your extra rotors you have your motor here you have your cable and charger and the original invader model is also included you can also create your own and there are also, also other models that you can buy but this is what I got and then turned it to this. Uh, this is basic, whereas that one is just more colorful. It does have a micro USB port. This is the brain of the kit. You can turn it on with this. This is not actually linked to anything yet, but once you connect it to your smartphone, you'll be able to fly it. Once you download the app, you can connect this and then fly this. Just testing this, show you how it works. The new version, see it's slower, it's maybe a little bit less maneuverable, at least that's what they say. There you go. You can see Bluetooth information, battery life, statistics. Firmware, all that is available. You make changes here. And if you make enough changes and you can't remember what you did, you can go back to default. These are the modes that are available. Is the acrobatic mode on? Now, what happens if I go back to another model? Let's, let's go to this model. There you go. Video instructions are available, so you can see how to fold this cable and these other two i don't need because i already have the cable from the other one also you can use any usb cable anyway to remove all these and you want to be careful because a bunch of these are a little bit easy to tear so you don't want to rush it especially around these parts Make sure that you don't tear anything and damage anything. I didn't have too much trouble with this. Want to be careful with these parts okay so 
seems to be doing great. And now these have these three M pads here. Prepare this part. You just bend these this way and this way as well. You gotta do it good so it doesn't come back up. For this, you first wanna in the middle like that. Then you wanna get this down this side. So for the legs, doing it like that. This is how your dragon should look like. You have to remove this and then put it slowly there. It says double-sided tape and you have to do it for the other side as well. So this is now assembled. I don't know, I'm, I'm never perfect, but I try to follow the instructions as close as possible. Now you're gonna assemble these two. I do the legs right here and then arms right there. Like this. And then a squeeze. So you just have to attach the connectors like this and make sure they're one inch from each end. So now this is set. Once you remove this, you're gonna see these two holes here. Just screw this in. This is your head and body. Now you have to attach them together. You use some Velcro tapes to make sure that these stay put. Then you have to put the head down and you're almost done. You see this is a little bit loose. You can use a scotch tape here to keep it together. Add the crossbar here, you add some tape here and you can also tape here to make sure if you're worried about these actually hitting it. And that's about it. To charge this, you just have to remove this and you gain access to the port right there and just put it back in. That's how it works. Now, the only thing that I haven't done is actually attach the landing gear. This is how you attach the landing gear in the back. It has this slot here. This goes here. You just have to find a way to attach it here. This area. There you go. That's about it. So I attached the landing gear and everything else. You can see, you can make adjustments. Everything is ready to go. Now I just have to turn it on and fly it. The assembly process is not that hard, but I do encourage you to watch their official video. They've done a great job. I tried to do and explain what they've done, but they're even better at it. They are experts at explaining how to put these things together. So you may want to check out their channel. Now my previous model didn't have a landing gear, so I don't know how this is going to work, but we'll see. This is the final version. Now I'm going to fly this and remove the landing gear because even the video that I saw, it's not necessary to have the landing gear. You should be able to fly without it. A couple of things that you need to do in order to charge it, you have to remove it like that. In order to access the button to turn it on, you have to remove the tape that you used. They say they recommend you use a tape to keep the head together. This is the button here. Just gonna start the app. And since we use the tape here, it should keep them from actually touching it. Now we'll see. They actually do the best job here with the tape. So it's sticking out a little bit, but shouldn't cause an issue. I've got tested outside. Let's see how it works. So the problem with doing this in your backyard is that you're going to end up actually hitting all these different obstacles. Now, if you're an experienced pilot, that's not going to be an issue. But if you're not, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. And mine actually has already taken a lot of beating because I keep hitting these things. Now the trees, you're going to have a much better time actually flying this. It's not really that hard to fly. It's just that you need an open space for it to work. Cat's gonna play with it too. This gives me feedback when I do better. 
I find this a little bit more challenging than the original Power Up 4. So if I lose my plane, I can find this feature to find it. That's about it. So this was the app control flying dragon power up four system, but this is the kit with landing gear, all the extra stuff. I found it to be a little bit harder to pilot than the original model. The original model was just right out of the box. This took me a little bit of time to figure out how it actually flies. I'm still actually learning it, but it's a fun toy and you can also try other models. I could have used this dragon model with the original power of four that I've tested on the channel, you want to check it out. Now in my case, I actually lost the other landing gear for this when I was flying it. I'm not a really good pilot, so I hit a bunch of stuff that was lost. Maybe it wasn't installed correctly by me. Generally, my problem is when I actually fly this in my backyard, I just hit the trees and don't have a problem landing it. It's just the actually maneuvering it in very tight spots, which takes the scale. And that's what makes this toy fun. For more information, please go to youtube.com at Gadgetify. Thanks for watching.